Yeah, I'm pretty sure these things don't like it. Oh boy. Okay. Anyways, um, welcome to Quake. Uh, I remember I hinted at this in the, um, I was hinting at this in the community post where it's like, how y'all feel about Quake? And I'm just like, fuck, because I was planning on playing this game. And, uh, yeah. This is the clearly remaster, as you can see from the really shitty font. But, yeah, uh, and they got a lot of settings here. And there's like some PC stuff. Why the? Why would you put this here? Well, appreciate it though. Anyways, uh, yeah, this is Quake, and, um, I've been, like, thinking of playing this game for the channel, but, like, I tried playing Quake 2 once, and then it just didn't record, and I just gave up. Then I'm like, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll give Quake another try, so, um, here we go. Whoa. Now well, that is fast. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This game, you, just, you have to, like, choose the wall. And if I remember correctly, you have to go through some hoops to go to Nightmare. So, hold on, let me check something. You have to go through, like, some serious hoops. Uh... Nope. That would have been so I could shoot that off. How do I get to the nightmare difficulty, or do I want to? Damn. This is the first episode to mention of the doomed. It's like from the black magic. Another world. And uh, the elder world. Your worst nightmares come true. The another world. Primal fear and strange dimension. Ancient castles and strange beasts ahead. Mystical paths comes alive. Nope. Where can I access Nightmare? Where's Nightmare? I don't know how to access it. I suck. Let's just go. Let's just go for it. Oh. I remember a little bit also, and like most games, I have a history with this. Um, I remember one time, I was in high school, and it was my first year of high school, and, well, <laughs> uh, we had like these really shitty Chromebooks it would give us, because, you know, it was during the pandemic. And, essentially, a and not, actually, not the pandemic, it was before it, like 2019, I think. And my, a friend of mine, who I haven't seen in a long time, was in the same class as me. And we would end up like chilling, playing with like whatever games in the Chromebooks that would let us, because you know he managed to figure out a way to find some sites that would allow him to play some games. And one of them was basically, I don't know how, but he was able to find a free version of Episode One of Quake. And I'm like, oh cool, I've heard of Quake. I heard like a lot of old people, like a lot of oldies, uh, played that game as a kid. I wanted to see what the, all the huff was about. Damn, that game was fun. <laughs> then this well it still is because at that time my only really experience with like games like it was like i think doom 2016 before 2016 came out and yeah it was just oh boy old school but fun and i love it and i remember um night dive who for some reason is able to get their hands on almost every single remaster under the sun was able to essentially just oh, that's a neat skybox was able to essentially just remaster this game. And I saw this game like on sale for like five bucks because it was like ten bucks when I on release. And I got it on there and then well that's history. I also got Quake too, but that's for later. Uh but yeah, it's very fun. Although when I remember when I played Quake I'm with my friend, uh the controls were I just say the controls were just weren't my style. I just didn't like them. Like, um, in my opinion, because like it was like the original controls, so it wasn't exactly, you know, um, up to par with current modern standards. So I had to like hook up a really janky third party Switch controller to my Chromebook. 
and I played it through that and it was it worked it worked it worked fine although it was a it was a bit of a bummer when I couldn't really play the episode 2 because I essentially had to do it the old school way and basically call front and software to buy it which and the thing is I never had a Steam account I didn't have a Steam account at the time so I can't really do much and you can't even use Steam on Chromebooks so I was essentially screwed on playing the full version of Quake until it got remastered on PS5 and I didn't get my PC yet, so I was like, screw it, might as well get it. And yeah, I can see why a lot of old oh, a lot of old school guys loved loved Quake. Ooh, what's this? Oh yeah, I remember this. No gun. No gun. Oh yeah. Cue the seventeenth person to say this game looks like how I imagined Quake would look back in the day back in the day. Alright, that's keep going. Oh, wait, that's the nail gun. Never mind. I am shocked how fast this shotgun shoots. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> well, everything's dead now, I guess. Also, didn't, um, uh, just recently, I just, I didn't realize this, but, um, Wrath, Aeon of Ruin, just, like, released in February, and I'm like, Wait, that game finally came out. I've been looking at that game for years. And I wasn't getting it on PC, but the thing is, it's like, once a console peasant, always a console peasant. At this point, most of my games are just sort of played on my PlayStation. So it's like, yeah, like even, I have an SSD. Don't get me wrong. I have an SSD for space. I do have one. But for some odd reason, I just like can't bring myself the game on PC. It's just something about it. Like, I'll play it like a game for like every now and then, but it's just like, for some odd reason, I could just never be a PC gamer. Like, I try, but it just doesn't work with me, and I don't know why. What the hell are you? Oh, it's a shame there's no rocket jumping here. Yes, I know about rocket jumping. Um... Oh! <laughs> now that's sick. Uh oh. Oh, guess I can't get in there. Ah, boy. Alright, let's do this. Let's, let's continue on. Oh, that's. By the way, first person shooters aren't exactly my forte, so. If I'm sucking, yeah, don't. Don't. Don't blame me. Also, if I miss any secrets, um, sorry, I don't really remember much. Oh, look at that. I kind of wish they managed to figure out a way to, to turn the old font into the into uh, controller st standards. I wonder when the last time Quake One was able to be played. Because remember correctly, there was like a um a Quake 4, that game came out on Xbox 360, and like a, what, a free version of Quake 2? Which, yeah, I don't know how they pulled it off, or at least that's when, you know, Bethesda wasn't as dickish as they are today. Uh, let's see. Mm. Give him double barrel. Damn, I'm good. I really gotta try- I really gotta play through Dust, because I have it on my Switch, but I don't, like, um, record it, which, because... Dusk is really fun, don't get me wrong, but it's like... I was waiting on, like, a PlayStation port to play it, because I have it on Switch, because I was impatient. But even then, I just prefer to play it... What are you? I wish they could let you do it in Quick 2, where you could just, like, jib enemies. What are you? That was close. What? 
I... By the way, I yes, I did play Quake 2, but it's like... Why did they go away from Cthulhu? Why didn't they go stay with it? Cause it's like, I get it, Cyborg... Me Cyborg, metal as fuck, but at the same time, it's just like... Stick with Cthulhu. Cthulhu can be metal. Dude, you can do metal. <laughs> oh god, I remember. Remember when Duke Nukem Forever got announced in like 2001? Which, yes, it's before my time, but... I ended up, I was unfortunately one of the unlucky kids to be playing through Duke Nukem Forever because my uncle bought a copy. And... yeah... Ooh boy. I was one of the unlucky bastards that were unfortunate enough to play through that game. And now that I was looking back at it, I have no idea what was wrong with me. Like, for some reason, I just thought it was fun for a kid. But no, it wasn't even fun at all. It was just it was just a shitty game. Well, not shit, but more it's like very average. Because, like, I have a copy of, like, that port from Gears... From... Um... From Gearsoft, I think. Or is it, like... I, for, I forgot the studio's name. Because they're coming in behind Borderlands. And... I essentially just, uh... Bought that version. Which... Not gonna lie, I wonder if the Borderlands movie is gonna be good. I don't really know. Oh boy. Hmm. Where to go? I like how jumped his map to L2, which is like. No clue why it's mapped to L2, but okay. It's over here. I like how the app music for this game is very weird. Like, um, it's not exactly like the OG Doom, because I did listen to the soundtrack of OG Doom, thanks to a lot of covers. And um but I'm wondering like I remember like nine inch they said that nine inch nails did the soundtrack. Which, first off, I, in software, uh, I'm impressed that you managed to pull that off. So it's like, yeah, how, I wonder how they even got him to work on it in the first place. And then, then for Quake 2, they got someone else, which Quake 2 soundtrack, iconic as well, but, you know, Quake 1 just fits the game. I forgot how many levels were in Episode 1. Oh, I didn't know that's right. I also know that this game, that compared to Doom, the bosses kind of suck in a way. I gotta be careful with this thing. Rockets. I mean, there's a there's a rocket launcher somewhere. Where is the rocket launcher game? Where is it? I would like to know where the rocket launcher is. I want to blow stuff up. Oh, and if you miss a double barrel, you get one over here. Nice. Which, I have no clue how you'd miss it, but okay. I really hope Blood Fresh Supply gets ported. Because I really want to play that game. Even though I have it on PC. Or... Don't have it on PC. Yeah, that's. I think that's the only boom shoot I don't own. Because I think I own... Duke Nukem, like 3D on my PS5, I own uh, Doom Eternal, Doom 2016, Doom, uh, not the original Dooms, unfortunately, which are dirt cheap, yes, I just haven't gotten around to getting them. Uh, uh, Shadow Warriors 1, 2, and 3, I don't have the original, unfortunately, even though I know the original is really good, but it's all bustingly hard. I have Ion Fury, I have Dusk on my Switch. Uh... That's how you get the nail gun. Oh, what are you? Oh, you don't look annoying at all. You don't seem annoying whatsoever. Oh, what the? What killed me? 
God, the rate of fire for these guns is insane. I'm guessing this is before they properly figured out how to balance stuff. If I remember correctly, wasn't like the original Quake's multiplayer only like four, or it wasn't more than that? Because I could be wrong. Because remember the original Quakes were, were also iconic for their really good multiplayer. I think it was Quake 3 that was iconic. And then Halo kind of came by and stole its lunch money. <laughs> Which, by the way, I am not a Halo fan. Not because uh, I never grew up with it, but because of the fact that I never owned a copy as a kid. Because Halo never interested me. I was more interested in like Metal Gear Rising and Sonic Frontiers and the like to play. But or Sonic Generations and Unleashed to care about that. Make a quick save. Yeah, so I never really grew up with Halo. Or not like grew up, because my cousin owned a copy. And it pisses me off because of the fact that every single time I would get my ass handed to me because I had no idea how to play Halo and I would die all the time and it would annoy me. Yay. And I own Master Chief Collection. Well, not own. I'm doing that really weird family shared thing with a friend of mine. But yeah, it is a very weird thing. I'm not good with Halo. Like, I suck at the game. Like, I, don't, I only know the basic shotgun and the sword stuff. That is it. That is where my knowledge of Halo combat ends and begins. Because I have no idea what I'm doing while playing Halo. Luckily, they have the Nine Inch Nails logo just on there. For, like, no particular reason, but just because. <sighs> okay, how do I do this? Okay, I'm good. No, I'm not. Okay, where are you? Ow. Stop. Stop, game. What are you throwing at me? I'm not gonna risk it. What the hell are you throwing at me? Your limbs or your guts or something? What are you throwing at me, dude? Oh, infighting. God damn it. This thing. Even though I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these things don't like it. Screw the shamblers, man. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're like, what? Aren't they like, um, what the? Oh. Okay, I only got 9 HP, so I'll make this count. Okay, if I can get to those HP ups. Oh boy, this is gonna... Oh boy. Before. Oh! Oh, so that's the strat. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that is evil game. Very evil of you. Another one's gonna spawn. Oh, wait, what the? Just telefrag a shambler? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I telefrag the shambler. I'm not even gonna question it. I'm gonna question it. that's a W in my case, I'm saving. That is a W, I do not care. That is a W for me. I don't care if I telefragged it. It is a dub. I do not care. Hmm. 
where to go? What am I missing? Aha! Ring of Shadows. Mm -hmm. This is like a Baldur's Gate power up. Or Baldur's Gate equipment or something. I like how the, only the eyeballs are on the portrait. Goofy. This game is very goofy. minutes already. Health. That is a quick save if I ever seen one. And I think I'm supposed to go through here to the door. Yep, I'm supposed to go through here. Ammo the nine inch mailboxes. Now that is punchy. Let's see. I can't see a damn thing. There we go. There we go, you're dead. If I remember correctly, like, Quake Guy was like... Um, in like Quake Champions, which I think is the only thing we're ever going to see this guy in after years. Which sucks, because like, we don't really know what ever happened to that guy, to him. It's a shame. Ah, my back. <sighs> oh, what are you? Oh, this regular dude. Okay. Oh, there's more of you. What the hell do I... Oh. I was like, Jesus Christ, what the hell? Okay, I'm gonna quick save right here. Pick me up. <sighs> I think I screwed myself. Oh, I keep getting stuck on the walls. Great, great, fun, fun, very fun. Oh, not a shambler. Okay, I know the pattern. I 
mind. What the? What hit me? The grenade? Did the grenade bust back? Oh my god. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. Did I get telefragged? Oh my god, the walls. Oh my god, the damn walls! Okay, now to... Start with the Shambler. Quick save. Whew. That was rough. I wonder when that Sin Gold port's gonna happen. Because I remember it's been like a development for a hot minute. But they never really did anything with it. Which sucks. It looks, Sin looks pretty cool. I wanted to check it out someday. Let's see what's here in these poisonous waters. Oh, you. You're here. What the heck are you? Ooh. Super nail gun. Rocket launcher and another weapon. But the super nail gun. Nice. Oh, that just shreds. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love this. That just shreds. Oh yeah. Yep, yep, this is my new favorite gun. If I remember correctly, when they were animating these these uh, the enemies, they had to like literally frame every single part of it for the animations, which at the time when skeletal when making skeletons for characters didn't exist yet. I'm just shocked that they were able to pull it off in the first place. I remember there was like some heavy, heavy time crunch when this game was in development. Like a lot of crunch, like that's a, because at that time development cycles were like super short, like a year at most, two years. Two years was considered a really long time back then. But it was like, yeah, the fact they really get this game out at all is already impressive enough. Oh boy, I got finished dealing with you guys. Come on. Okay. Uh, ooh. Bro, this game got me paranoid. I'm paranoid. I'm paranoid. I'm paranoid. I am literally every time I see something, I pull the trigger. I am very nervous. Oh boy. Oh. What do these things remind me of? Oh, nice. I get goodies. Oh, that's how you get here. That's sick. This? What secret? That's it? Rockets? That's it? Just rockets? That, that's it? That was a waste of my time then. This is another secret cave that I'm not aware of. Is it? Aha! So this is the secret cave. Vertical vengeance. Find the secret. Oh, secret level. Oh, that's where I'm going. Secret level. Nice. Slow-mo. Devs. Pentagram of protection. 
Oh, it's essentially shit load of our Low gravity? Is that the gimmick of this level? Okay, so low gravity is the gimmick. Got it. Okay. Uh, nope. Get away from me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm good. Got this low, <laughs> this low gravity is chipping me out, man. Whoa. Ooh, rocket. Can I? Yup, I can. Hello. What's up? <laughs> Ooh, this little gravity is going to be a cinch. Not tricking me this time, game. And hell, let's go. That is some um, icon of sin. Thank for the ammo. Oh shit. Oh no. There we go. Invincibility. More like bonus armor or some shit. Health. Oh, we just had Jesus there now. I guess Jesus Je Jesus is here now, which Yeah, that's a Cthulhu shit right there, brother. And this little gravity starting to come a pain in my ass. Damn you. You need to spread. I know from I watched the V11, so I know rockets don't exactly hurt this. They're not, they're not rocket proof, but they're rocket resistant, so can't exactly rely on it. Ow! Quit pushing me, you bastard! Quit pushing me! Oh, there's another one. Okay, very funny guy. Funny, funny, haha. -ha. No, that's how you see how you like it, dude. No one shoots you with rockets. God, 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 I suck at God. Also, it's like 1.30 in the morning. It's gonna be an hour. Great. There's another one of you down here. Cool. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. 
question. Wasn't there like a PS1 version of this game that came out a while back, like in the 90s? And it was like apparently a super good port, if I'm correct. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, I remember when they tried to port this thing to consoles, there was like a, oh no, I'm confusing them. Quake 2 had the good PS1 port, while Quake 64 was the, the modified port, because for some reason the ESRB was very... I am so glad the ESRB barely has any power nowadays, because back then they had way too much power. Because parents believed the stupid thing that video games cause violence, which... Oh my god, I remember that. It was such a stupid thing. It's like, bro, you really think just because they play Doom that they're suddenly gonna go insane? Like, I get it. 90s were rough for everyone, but Jesus Christ. Like, yeah. It wasn't that rough. It wasn't that insane. Alright, time to explore more. Is that it? Nothing else? Okay. Whew. That is rough. I don't even think I'm done yet. Ugh. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, that was rough. Um, I'm gonna end the video off here if you guys like the video like sub and subscribe like if you think it's worthy enough subscribe if you think i'm worthy for your time and leave any comments of anything nice or any criticisms you want to say with the vid and well um i'm gonna head off for the night it is gonna be one thirty it's gonna be two o'clock in the morning so um and my parents are asleep so see ya